So, doggy, this is um, this is not the America's Cup, but these etchels, you know, you, you get out there and you're only as good as your uh, your next race. You know, these young blokes don't give you any quarters. Competition's fantastic, I must say. And I'm, I just have a ball with these boats. Gordon. And what have you got coming up, JB? We've What's got on the, the Etchells horizon? We've got horizon? the mighty, mighty Victorian State Championships in a couple of weeks' time, the Royal Geelong Yacht Squadron. And uh, we, I won't do the Worlds in Texas. It's a bit far up. I'm, right in the middle, I'm president of Swimming Australia, which is our Olympic program. And we've got the World Championships in Korea in August and then the Olympics, of course, next year in, the, in Tokyo. So it's a bit on. Uh, but uh, I'm, I'll stay in touch with it. You know, I just love these things. It's just it's fun. And I must say that the World Championships in Brisbane, I had that was probably the most fun regatta I've ever had. You know, the way it was organised, the comradeship of the people, the big fleet, you know, 96 boats, fantastic racing. And uh, I, I loved also the new Olympians coming to the class and showing us how fleet management really should be done in a big fleet. You know, the, uh, uh, you know, the 470 World Champions, you know, first and second, I thought that was really cool. So I learned a lot and uh, I think the fleet learned a lot from that. So the class is alive and well. It's pretty impressive. And uh, you've sailed with some luminaries over the <laughs> last few years. It's, um, a, it's called a factory. That's yeah, it. So I had the... a guy called Ben Ainsley, and then he became Sir Ben. <laughs> and then uh, Sir Ben had other things to do, like the America's Cup. So, uh, of course, all the way through there, we had uh, Andrew Doggy Palfrey, yourself. Oh, that, that, that old hack. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, you, uh, Doggy, uh, suggested a young bloke uh, um, the uh, Tom Slingsby and Tom could hardly put two words together like he was so shy this is a little big strong boy but you know laser sailor but on this boat with these two old guys you and me you know he hardly said a word until we went sailing and then boom the whole thing lit up I used his empathy for wind shifts and so on and generally being a laser and he became world champion and then yachtsman of the year globally but to feel him on the boat in terms of the way he'd ease the mainsail coming out when the boat was a bit slow and so on, he didn't, wasn't even looking at it, just like lasers, whereas most people have, you know, set and forget. So that was beautiful, and we won the Worlds, of course, with that. And then uh, we've had a few other uh, pretenders on the boat since. And you've got a, you, well, who's your crew coming up? Well, a guy called uh, Glenn Ashby. You might do okay the man. with him. The oh, man. I Mr. Think he, America's Cup. I th well, he's an Australian and he's the skipper of the Kiwi America's Cup boat and they won the America's Cup in Bermuda. And he's the skipper for the defence in 2021. So how remarkable is that? And 10 times world A-class uh, catamaran champion. Mm. You know, I think he should be world sailor of the year this year. You know, what more can you do? But So he sailed Etchells a little bit in the past. We'll be well underway, but it won't matter. And the highlight for me will be the in the car going to the regatta each morning and coming back at night just talking to him about you know the global view of sailing so uh, again that's all part of the uh, the fun of these boats and billy brown will be on the bow billy we've been sailing a long time he's uh, he's a mature young gentleman 71 years old and as fit as a melly bull as we say here in australia <laughs> perfect so the coffee order will probably be the weak latte for yourself what's billy have uh he has a, a straight uh, flat white there you go and not sure what glenn but... i reckon glenny you'd pick him as a double espresso man i reckon yeah it's probably right and um ben uh, you know so ben over he sends a note from town to time saying have i upgraded from the weak latte and uh, i have to confess no i still love mother's milk <laughs> <laughs> oh good stuff that's uh, fantastic great catch up mate and uh we'll let you get back to it, it, it but actually one more thing i see not often you see uh you know the the uh, people engaged in polishing their yeah. own boats these no, days this is, serious. And this is this stuff here the McLube anti-foul speed polish it's good um during the world championships in brisbane the divers were saying that the guys that had uh you know proper surface like that surface finish was much easier to clean compared to ones that weren't properly uh, you know prepared so that's a bit scary isn't it so uh, you know any of these wet regattas you really got a couple of coats of this stuff is really important i found also doggy that um this is my mate tobes i found that two people actually are more than twice as fast on a polishing a boat because you've got someone to talk to three is even better so I, I send an invitation to yourself and your, your son, Tobes, here to help on the triad to prepare for the well, state championship. Give us a rag, we'll get into it. Good one, JB. Good, Good luck at the Vicks. <laughs>